Hey you guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Ayana, and if you're not new, welcome back to the channel. Um, I don't know how to explain today's video like I do, but like I don't know if the way I'm putting it into words is going to make sense. But we are going to be doing a hair transformation slash how I try to maintain my curls and my hair with color. Because as y'all know on this channel I've colored my hair a good amount of times. Um, and I still have curls to my head. I'm pretty healthy ones if you ask me. So I'm going to just tell you guys what I did or what I do to try to maintain my curls as healthy as possible with me experimenting with all these colors that I'd be wanting to experiment with. <laughs> so that is today's video. It's a natural hair video. I'm so happy because I love filming natural hair videos because I love messing with my hair. Basically, I'm going to run it down for you guys because I literally had to put it in my notes, like everything I gotta do today <laughs> for my hair because I literally was forgetting as I was thinking about it. So, and plus I've just been filming like so many videos recently. So like my mind is kind of like everywhere with each video, I'm trying to think of like how to edit it and everything. But like, that's besides the point. Hair maintenance for today, I am doing like at least two or three treatments in my hair. Because while you were um, debo depositing, while you're depositing and like taking away color and all that, you want to make sure you are returning the favor of moisture and all of that back into your hair. Instead of just stripping everything all at once, you want to try to add it in as you go. So today, luckily, I have some Olaplex still. Olaplex is like a little bit on the pricey side, but like it does good for my hair, so I buy it. But since I have so much hair and I buy like the travel sizes. I go through it a little bit fast because I don't use Olaplex every day so like that's why I buy the travel sizes but even still. We're going to be doing Olaplex treatment. I'm going to be touching up my wolf cut so like trimming my hair because previous to this I had two different protective styles in for over a month and so I know I just need to trim and recently I just snipped off the dead ends from this section because I went lighter before I put the color in so I trimmed those up but I basically just want to even it out make sure it's all good and then I still got that good shape with the good volume it looks like it right now but who knows um then we're going to be changing my hair color y'all know it's fall and I've already sparked an idea in my head of my next color for the season for the next few months I actually I blame Snapchat because y'all know y'all be forgetting about certain shit and then Snapchat be like memories from four years ago. So um, a little bit over a year ago, I had that like ginger orange color, you know, that one video that went viral. I had that color and it was like a little bit months after that where I like went like a little bit more on the orangey red side. So that color popped up and I kind of miss it. So here we are. Um, yeah. And then after I color my hair, I'm going to be doing the Afro G two step protein treatment. I do this protein treatment like every few months because like once I do it, I honestly forget about it until my hair is in need of it. So it's that time. And then we're going to wash and style as normal because after I color my hair, I want to see my wash and go. But yeah, that is the plan for today. On here, it's a five step plan, but I'm hoping this doesn't take all day. I'm starting pretty early. I'm starting in the morning because I always try to color my hair in the afternoon or the evening and then be up all late. We're not doing that today because... I'm trying to get videos edited and you know out so we're starting early it's currently 10 45 we're going on 11 and we're about to start right out the gate because we need to start out the gate i just put this cute graphic t-shirt on to do my intro and stuff but i'm gonna end up changing my shirt into sh like my coloring shirt a color shirt that i don't care about but we are going to get started that is Pretty much everything that's going to be happening in this video so if you are in tune to see my hair transform and me just get it into something new and fun and fresh stay tuned for this video keep watching because i feel like i've been talking enough y'all probably skipped already at this point but i hope you did it so i hope you guys enjoy and let's just go ahead and get started with the first thing we need to do for today okay so one thing that i know for a fact i'm not going to be doing in this video is i'm probably not going to set up the camera and show you guys every time i wash something out of my hair because if you're a returning subscriber you've seen me do that before if you're new i'm pretty sure you've seen somebody else do it i may show it for like one or two things but i'm not going to show it for every single thing because like that's just extra 
in my opinion. So we're gonna be starting off with the Olaplex number zero. It's an intensive bond building hair treatment. It primes, repairs, strengthens, and protects all hair types. I've had this for a few months now. But this is what it looks like, number zero. And we're gonna be using this. You're supposed to use it on dry hair in small sections. You're supposed to saturate it from root to tip, and you're supposed to use it until your hair is damp. All this hair, with what I have left, is not gonna work at all. We're gonna make it work. Um, I'm probably just gonna do it in four big sections and split each section in half and just drench and detangle and work it through because that's really the only way I see my hair getting fully saturated in this. And then I'm gonna leave this in my hair for 10 minutes. You're not supposed to rinse it, you're supposed to apply the number three, but I literally just ran out of that. So we're literally just gonna use this. I'm not gonna do my shirt yet, I'm gonna just get a towel because, but I'm gonna section my hair into fours first. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I kinda, kinda, I kinda wanna move the position of this. Like when I first colored it, I shouldn't have done it like from the part, I should have done it on the side slab section. And that's what I wanna do so bad, but the color I'm using is for dark hair only. And I don't know how it's going to take since this hair is already lightened and it's not as dark as this hair. So regardless, if I was to add the color that I have on top of this, it's not going to match this because this is lighter than this. Is it, like, does that make sense? I feel like that's a decision for another day. I would attempt it today because I literally have the color that I'm going to use to lighten my roots and a little bit further down because these are darker. But I don't want to do that because I don't know how this color would react with the dark color only. So I'm not even going to set myself up for that. Ah! <laughs> honestly i don't even know like i do know how i would go about it if i was to want to change it to the side because it's really just what i would do with this i would have to do a color fill with some type of pigment to fill in the spots where i don't because this is like brown almost blonde so like i stripped my hair of any color that was possibly there almost because my hair is not fully blonde but it's like a nice honey color so yeah now that my hair is sectioned i'm going to split the sections in half and apply the olaplex bonding treatment to each section and just make sure i work it through and i'll probably detangle with my deming as i go through so it's not you know that is how you call a single strand knots people so please don't do that cause. and i just want to put this out there that this is not a tutorial like a twist out or anything so long i'm just like the wash and go type person braid outs are cool like when i have three business days to let it dry otherwise the braid out be like iffy because when braid outs are still wet it don't give what it's supposed to give and twist outs i don't know my hair they stay in twist but not like small twists it had to be chunky twists and i'd have to have rollers at the end because throughout the night how i sleep i know they will come out <laughs> i just know it So I'm gonna go ahead and 
do these last two sections because I feel like I talked enough. And then I'm going to sit under... Oh, I'm going to put a shower cap on and then I'm going to wash it out with shampoo and conditioner and I'm going to come back to you guys after that because then we'll be on to the next step which would be coloring. So I will see you guys then. Okay, so guys, I washed my hair, uh, shampoo and conditioner and I need to put you on real quick. So I'm going to tell you what I use to shampoo condition my hair today. Um, today I use Aunt Jackie's Grape Tree Style and Shine Recipes Power Wash Intense Moisture Confining Shampoo. It thoroughly removes impurity and build up while adding essential moisture and it has apple cider vinegar and aloe in it. This is what it looks like. So yeah, this is bomb. I was looking for a new clarifying shampoo because all my shampoos are like moisture or less breakage or something like that and plus i ran out so i got the power wash one and i really like this one so i'll probably be copying this if i run out because i'd be using this on my clients too and then i recently like two days ago just decided to try a new conditioner because i always get the aussie moist conditioner because it's like two dollars and it's like a giant ass tub and it lasts me a while but i've been looking for kind of like a thicker conditioner i've been looking for a thicker conditioner something new something different so i went to my local walmart and i was gonna get a shea moisture conditioner but i was like let me go ahead to the other side you know try my cheap conditioners out once again because frugal but i got the garnier whole blends repair and conditioner and i got the honey treasures one and this repairs immense dry and damaged hair it has honey and purple is it purple Propolis, propolis extracts and this is what it looks like and this is a 22 fluid ounce bottle and this was three dollars maybe four tax i just tried it one it smells amazing two the slip on this conditioner like aldi moist has slip yes but like it's the type of slip where you feel like it's not like sticking to the slip on this conditioner is like top tier slip like all the moist conditioner it has slip but like it's the slip to where you feel like you dropping all the conditioner on the bathroom on the tub floor like it's that type of slip like this slip i feel like my hair was like absorbing it and just taking it in and i just yeah i really like this conditioner this is probably going to be a new staple when i run out try that conditioner if y'all want but that conditioner feels like love to my hair. So the next step is to touch up this wolf cut or just cut my hair. But I also detangled while I was in the shower because that's one last thing I have to do out here. We're gonna go ahead and uh, fix the good old wolf cut because I know it's probably misshapen now. I think we're gonna do This is probably an inch, a little under an inch, about that much. Can you see the shorter hair is already coming out the ponytail. And I cut under the rubber band. Under the rubber band. I'm gonna go over the trash can. I'm just cutting my hair in silence. I'm so glad my mother allowed me to have freedom with my hair at a young age. Cause I know some people they weren't they're not really like allowed to have freedom with their hair. So like when they like color or cut it or anything, it's like behind their parents' back. And so like after they do it, they gotta show them and like get their reaction and pray they won't beat the ass. I've been doing my hair since I was like 12. Now was that the smartest idea? No, because at that age I was easily influenced and I didn't like my curls because everybody's hair was straight or it was done to where it looked straight. So I was like, I got this curly hair, this shit's ugly. It's just straight my shit. Every day I basically fried my hair for a good year, a few years, not a year, a few years. I always remember I was in my room on the floor listening to music and straightening my hair. My dad came home from work one day and he was like, it's like you frying your hair off. Cause guess what? I was, <laughs> I was definitely frying my hair off cause I didn't like my curl, but we've grown to love them and that's all that matters. So I don't know if y'all can see this. Y'all probably can, but this is healthy curls. And y'all see where it lays at like 
sitting and this is like healthy into weak curls so they lay longer but all in all it's the same length but since these are dead they don't really curl they're not dead but they don't curl as much as these do but we're gonna touch them up because i always do i don't ever give myself like bangs but i do make it to where i can wear it with no part and like have it fro style see now it looks completely uneven but i promise you guys it's not <laughs> It's just one side's healthier than the other and that is why we are going to be doing another treatment this one is probably a little bit more effective because it's like head on that is my haircut sorted we have a little sally's haul so the first thing which is really does not matter to y'all or affect y'all i just got this tube key so i can fully get all the color i used to have this when i was in college school and i never thought to buy one of my own until i realized i use this product a lot it's kind of hard to squeeze out so if i have this i'll get every last drop of product worth my money now the colors that i have today are the l'oreal high color for dark hair only in sizzling copper which is 87 and then i have the brown for darker only it's called soft brown and it's h3 and i'm going to be mixing these two colors together um i got four boxes um this is upside down four boxes these are the numbers h3 and h7 i got four packs of those because if you get anything less in your natural you're not gonna have enough i'm gonna just tell you that now don't get anything less than four boxes if you're a natural because you're not gonna have enough and then this recommends you use 30. i have 20 and i have 40. if i really wanted to i could have used the 40 and diluted it to a 30 with water but i didn't so i just bought um 30 volume cream developer and i got the 16 ounce bottle because each box of like color requires 2.5 fluid ounces so i have four boxes yeah math y'all got it so that's everything i got from sally's y'all get my gist i'm gonna mix the colors now the flight i'm rambling a little bit we're gonna get on with transformation i'm so excited still wishing i could just randomly do a side patch because i was okay i'm sorry i was jamming out but i mixed my color and it's if i don't have enough color then this is ridiculous because like this bowl is pretty much filled to the rim so i split out my brown section that has to get touched up and i sectioned out the rest of my hair into four that's what i forgot i'm about to get vaseline and just rub it on the outside of my edges because i normally don't miss but like i don't know and plus i have this piercing which is like two months old but i still want to be careful with it. all right so i got it this is petroleum jelly but i'm probably gonna come back to y'all when i uh mix the color for this section so y'all can at least know what i'm doing but yeah this is happening okay i will see you guys in probably like 30 minutes maybe i don't know <laughs> we got you guys with my hair um the color is in this part two hours later okay so we're back we got a new battery because the other one died it's currently 140 and i just finished applying the color to the length of my hair and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna let that process for 20 minutes before i apply it to the root um just so that way it can lift all to the most even possible as color the most even color as possible because you know i'm pretty sure there's still a little bit of that dark brown that i had on the length of my hair so we're gonna let this process for 20 minutes and then i'm gonna come back and reapply to my roots and then while that's sitting i'm gonna mix the colors for this so yeah i used about half of the color on just the length of my hair so i feel like i'm set to have enough for my roots so i'm going to do the next part of the tiktok because i have to do a turn obviously and i'm going to come back to you guys when my whole head is done with product because i don't think i need to see any more time left of that part of it. so i'm gonna put the shower caps on i'm just gonna use two because i know one is not big enough for all my hair and we're gonna let that do its thing for 20 minutes I already got my clock going so i have 15 minutes left and then apply the roots move back so let me do this tiktok and watch tiktoks for 20 minutes
Just me, I'll do whatever I can. One week later. So, as y'all can see, since y'all are seeing me right now, and since y'all can see what my hair looks like, and also because y'all seen the title of this video, that this didn't turn out at all, at all, like how I wanted it to. And so now I'm here to explain to y'all what I had to end up doing. In the end, to salvage my hair of curls and to actually just look decent in the end because I could not walk around with how my hair ended up turning out. That looked a mess. So I'm gonna give y'all the explanation on what I did and how I ended up with this butte here, which is literally not a drastic change from what I had before, but besides the point. So in the beginning of the video, when I was telling y'all what I was gonna do and everything, I was telling y'all about this look, like this style of hair i guess where the hair is bleached on the sides so it's like a little peekaboo action rather than it being plant-based at the top of my middle part and so i was telling about that how i wanted to do that and so really that was like a second option because at the rate of me telling all this i already spent the money on the hair products and everything so i kind of like had to go through with it because system won't waste no money but it didn't really matter because system don't waste money anyway so I went through, we did the color and everything, and I took the precautions of doing my ends first and then letting it process, doing my roots because that's what I know to do. And uh, it, it, it still didn't do <laughs> what it was supposed to do. I assumed that the dark brown that I put in my hair, I think over about over six months ago had just came out or if not faded out to the lightest it could possibly be. So I thought my hair would take anyways without using a color remover and that's not what happened at all y'all probably like you're just watching a video saying your license is so you know this da 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 you should not be your hair by now da da but i'm just gonna tell y'all now when it comes to me doing my own hair as far as coloring goes it never turns out right until the second or third try and that sounds so bad because i should be able to get on the first try but like i'm still human and i still make mistakes but whenever it comes to me doing my own hair, um, as far as color goes, I there's I always find a way to uh, get up in the end. If I was doing somebody else's hair, it always turns out decent. But moral of the story is I got hot roots, even though I processed my ends first and did my roots last. I feel like even if I used a color remover, my hair still wouldn't have light into the color I wanted to anyways. Also, the color that I had wasn't the color that I wanted. So overall, this was just terrible. Um, <laughs> I followed, I saw a YouTube video um, where the girl used these two colors that I used, but I think she only used one and one and she didn't use two and two. So maybe I should have did more brown and like one of the copper instead of two copper, two brown because it was just giving fiery orange it was giving no brown at all actually it was just giving orange this is what my roots look like terrible very much giving much giving much lava girl only on the roots giving fire that was that and i was pretty fucking pissed off about that because i i went to sally's and i used the professional box well it's not box but i used the professional color on my hair and so each of those boxes are like eight to nine dollars a piece and i have a lot of hair 
So I bought like four just for it to all get wasted because it didn't even do what I wanted it to do. So yeah, when they first got like that, I then asked my mom if she can pick up box dye because at this point I'm thinking it's, I know it's because I didn't remove the color from my hair, but I've also seen box dyes lift hair with already had old color on it. So I like called my mom um while she was on her way home from work and i was like can you stop by the beauty supply store and pick me up such and such boxes of such and such um in hopes that this will work on my ends they didn't budge i really don't know what it is about the ends of my hair but unless i go to salon i'm gonna have this dark brown color forever because i'm done through my trials of trying to get my hair color the way I want it as far as going lighter with the ends of my hair until all my hair is virgin hair again I'm never going to subdue of trying to do it myself if I want to go lighter as far as my whole head goes I'm just gonna go to a salon at this point because honey I'm tired of it so I got another four boxes of color and it still didn't work so that was another like $25 waste, wasted of money so at this point I'm like $50 down the drain so at this point I am only off two days in a row and then I work four days straight. So at this point it's like the last day of my day off my of my weekend and I'm like I can't go to work with my hair looking like this because this is not if my hair looks a mess then I'm gonna feel like I look a mess because I will if my hair looks a mess. Don't get me wrong, my I go to work with my hair looking not gelled down and everything, but like to have roots that bright and ends that dark, I would look like a clown so i had to fix it the next day i went to casey beauty which is um, a beauty supply store in my area it's like one of the bigger ones i went and bought two boxes of the color oops conditioning color remover i just spent the money and got it because i normally use the red box but at this rate of my hair i've colored it twice already without any type of treatment in between other than deep conditioning overnight so i thought if i use a conditioning one it'd be a little bit better for my hair and then i bought a uh, cream of nature rich brown and then i got a dark brown um a few days later so i ended up color removing my hair um i didn't end up recording that part my hair was just what was left over so it just took out the red orangish pigments that i had and it just left me with like a light like a honey blonde honey brownish it left me with a color enough to deposit another color on top to cover it so i ended up using the rich brown by cream of nature and it gave me the brown that i ended up wanting it to begin with but since the ends of my hair never really lifted when i removed the color it was still like a darker brown than the rest of my hair the skunk stripe that i had it took the rich brown color perfectly beautifully the rich brown is a beautiful color honestly and i will do it one day when i get rid of all the dark brown but until then i'm just gonna stick with my dark brown because it just makes my hair look healthier anyway yeah so i had the rich brown for a little minute um if i have any good videos or pictures i'm gonna show you guys what my hair looks like it all really looked like it blended when my hair was wet but once my hair was dry you can really see how much lighter my skunk stripe area was and my roots were compared to the ends of my hair and I was fine with it at first until I really looked at it and I was like, this is not going to work for me. So I got dark brown and I just redid the skunk stripe section and I went over my roots again because they were really light compared to the rest of my hair. And so now it all matches and it all blends and I have like some cute soft brown undertones and like and because i didn't fully saturate the whole length of my hair i did my roots and then i applied some of the dark brown to some lengths of my hair and then i kept some of the ends the lighter brown just so i can have like the extra touch and also because i only bought one box so it ran out so yeah but i like it now i left out this one part and i bleached the length of my hair to try to lift the dark pigments and then i bleached my roots and then I went over it with Cream of Nature's Honey Blonde and so now it's like this. It's more of an even color besides my roots because they're pretty bright but this is more of an even color and I like how this looks a little bit to a lot better than the skunk stripe that I had. Only because not everybody has a skunk stripe and I have nothing against it but 
I just don't want my hair to really look like everybody else's because not everybody literally has it. When I first had it, it was like a few people, but like not everybody has at least had it once or something similar. So I had to switch it up. Um, so now I have my little peekaboo section. This is a lot less hair that's lightened than my skunk stripe. My skunk stripe was like at least half, like at least to my apex of my head with like a sliver of it. So it was like a decent portion of it was lightened. You can probably tell which section of my hair is lightened compared to others because this side is like ringlets i don't know if you can tell but they're like ringlet ends you know perfect curls and then this side is more of a loose ended curl like it's still curling but it's more loose ended because it's a little bit weaker because i was my skunk stripe spot and plus i colored it at least four times within two weeks so she was going through it a little bit but in between um, me coloring my hair, I did the Afogee protein treatment. I did that after I bleached and colored it the rich brown. Afterwards, I did that. And my curls was actually not that bad. They're actually way healthier than I thought they were going to be. I thought they were going to be pin straight dead. But the Afogee treatment really, you know, comes in handy and works when it needs to work. So if you're ever like... If you like you have weak curls, I would highly suggest trying out the Afogee protein treatment. Your hair could just be lacking protein, which is why it's not doing what it needs to do. Um, also, yesterday, before I uh, did my wash and go routine, I did the two-step reconstructor. I use that too. I love that too. Um, if you continuously use that with like every wash day or like every co-wash, then you're always going to be giving your hair that protein nutrients that it needs which is what I normally do. So I just get the bottle of it and I do that. But this is the state of my hair right now at this moment. Um, the footage I have, I showed you guys me bleaching this section. I also showed you guys me adding the dark brown, I believe. Y'all see it when, you know, the video is out. But this is the state of my hair right now. This is what the color is looking like and it's state of health. I just want y'all to like, Pay attention to this section throughout the next two to three months, I want to say. Pay attention to like this one section of my hair and you'll see how it will get back to how it is. I did redo my um, wolf cut. I think I filmed that as well. Um, so yeah, and I did a few trims in between me coloring my hair because I was not trying to save any of that dead hair. I saved what I could. I salvaged what I could, but I didn't save it all. Um, and yeah, this is the first day hair. This is what it looks like. It's not too bad. It's getting a little bit bigger now because I'm getting hot. Yeah, this is first day hair. I'm not mad at it. You can really, you can definitely tell the difference in health of my hair, but like it actually blends pretty decently. And I know I'm gonna get it back to what I need to get it back to within a few months. So I'm not gonna trip about it and I'm not gonna color my hair off because it's fixable and it's doable to style and everything like such so yeah that is why it was a failure turned success because my hair actually looks pretty goddamn good now to me in my opinion if you don't like it then that's your opinion but i like it so yeah i kind of wish i would do this from the jump because then i probably wouldn't even change my hair but she cute she cute i'm probably gonna keep this little peekaboo situation going on for a few months i'll probably have it for my birthday and whatnot because my birthday's in december y'all coming up okay so that is everything that i needed to update you guys with this video and that means this concludes and brings this video to an end yet another hair transformation yeah this isn't gonna be the last one i'm not even gonna tell you it is because i know it's not but i hope you guys stick around to see any other hair transformations um because they're like every six months or so if you really want to uh, stay in tune but i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment some videos you want to see maybe or anything like that such just comment you want to say what's up or anything like that hit that subscribe button because you're already here if you're literally hearing this part right now you were entertained enough to stay so like you might as well just you know join the join the fam join the, the channel and just stay and enjoy the vibes uh, okay also don't forget to hit that post notification bell to be notified when we go post another video and that's pretty much it i will see you guys in the next video